Hi guys, hope you're doing great and in this video I'm gonna tell you how to reach Kedana temple. I have just reached here and you can see the temple behind me. So the first thing you should need to do is to reach Rishikesh first because that is the common point to reach. Uh, no matter you're coming from south or east or uh, north, you have to reach Rishikesh. So if you don't know how to reach Rishikesh, you can let me know in the comments. I'll uh, tell you the way uh, from your city. Once you reach Rishikesh, you have the option of taking a taxi or taking the bus or if you're driving your own car, you can take it to till Gorikund. Once you reach Gorikund, you have three options to reach Kedana temple. One is on foot. The second is uh, you can uh, hire a horse and the third one is uh, you can hire a helicopter now I'm gonna give you the charges of all the three modes so the first thing on foot there is no charge but you have to keep few things in mind the first thing is that you're not allowed to pass Gorikun after 1 p.m. why because they don't allow people to trek at night first second make sure that you are wearing proper winter clothes because at Gorikun you would not feel the cold but once you start trekking uphill you would start feeling the cold and uh, you may get sick if you're not wearing proper clothes. Second option, if you hire a horse, the charges are you would have to pay 1800 bucks for uh, one side right and uh, uh, you will get the horse from Gorikun and it will uh, drop you right near the Kedana temple. Third option by helicopter. If you are planning to come by helicopter, the charge for one way is 3500. So if you are coming to the temple and you also want to go back in the helicopter, the charge is 7000 rupees. Now if you want to hire a helicopter, do not go to Gorikund. There is a place which is around uh, uh, I believe uh, 10 kilometers before Gorikund called Pata. Right from Pata, you can book the helicopter, and the helicopter would uh, drop you right, uh, you know, few meters away from the temple. There's a helipad over there, and you can visit the temple. So, these are three options. And if you find this information useful, please give this video a big thumbs up. And do not forget to check out my videos about the uh, timings of Kirana Temple and my complete blog of this trip. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and Instagram. The links are in the description. Please check those links. It means a lot and I will also be uploading all the pictures of this trip on all the platforms. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel because I'll be uploading videos about different places in India every single week. That's it for this video. Till next time, keep traveling and stay happy because you are awesome.